Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. But today I'm just doing a little collection update, but it's something special. So we're going to be blasting Denver, Colorado's Spectral Voice, Necrotic Doom on Dark Descent Records. So fucking heavy. I fucking love this demo. It's so good. Yeah, a little bit of art from Manifester. Hell yeah. I love it. It's a seriously like the heaviest thing ever. I love it. But uh, speaking of heavy, we're gonna travel back to 1999 with Evokin's Quietus. Fuck yes. The debut full length from New Jersey's heaviest fucking band. Absolutely. Wow. In Pestilence Burning is just one of those tracks that, you know, helped get me into Evoking to begin with. But seeing these guys live after I forgot they were the, the regional uh, openers for the Decibel Tour back in 2011. Now that was something fucking special and something I'll never forget because I didn't realize Evokin was playing. I completely forgot about it. And uh, I remember them setting up my like, candles and a keyboard and I was like, huh, I wonder who's opening up. And then all of a sudden I was like, holy fuck, it's Evokin. And I just had this shitty grin. And I told my friend who, you know, he wasn't into extreme music or anything like that. I paid for his ticket just so he could drive me there and hang out pretty much. So I was like, yo, if you want to put your ear, like, you know, your earplugs in, put them in now because this is one of the heaviest bands ever. And I was not disappointed whatsoever. That was my first live experience with evoke him because it is a fucking experience it's one of those things where you're just getting hit with the vibrations of total sadness and despair and it's just like you can actually feel it and i feel the same way when i could feel these vibrations from my speakers with quietus it's just an amazing amazing debut record and this piecemeal reissue for 2014 is awesome because it has this instrumental track from 2004 that is just so goddamn good and is not on the CD version, but it's still sick as fuck sounding. And this just sounds great on vinyl to begin with. You also have Steve O'Malley's just kind of very surreal artwork. I dig it. I mean, he has a kind of distinct art style. Like, if you look at a lot of his artwork, it kind of follow Like, during this time period especially, like, Steve O'Malley was doing a lot of artwork. And if you look at it, a lot of it kind of has this semi, like, collage punk look, but very, like, late 90s, neurosis -y, like, I don't know. It just gives me this, like, Neurosis vibe, even though it sounds nothing like Neurosis. It's just, that's where Steve O'Malley's artwork here takes me for some reason, like, for some reason, I don't know, I think, like, I don't know, that's just where my mind goes. Your mind can go wherever, but what needs to be said is the obvious skepticism influence on here, and it is great. If you're a fan of Storm Crow Fleet by Skepticism, this is your second baby right here. This is your side piece. Definitely, like, oh my god. It, it's pretty much a love letter to that record, but just Americanized a bit, and it definitely has that, like, East Coast slow death metal vibe to it as well as that fucking skepticism vibe and that just makes it even heavier and just so goddamn good like again it's one of those things I, I can talk up a good game but like can this perform for you 
fuck yeah, Ken. Like, you just need to actually have an attention span when it comes to funeral doom. This is not something that it's going to hit you all at once. You're going to have to sit there. And honestly, I'm not being cliche about this at all. It really does sound better when you're by yourself with the lights out, candles lit, and just you your mind and the music it can do like just these special things if you just let it and let yourself just go just seriously just close your eyes and just let go of everything and just let this fucking monolith crush you and go with it like I mean, that's not your bottom, but, like, just go with it, and trust me, you'll find something special. And even just blasting this because you're in the mood, or, like, you want to hear some fucking heavy doom, like, hell yeah, it works on that level, too. That's what's great about Evoking, like, they bring out all sorts of atmosphere and all sorts of emotion, it just depends on your mood. Like... Alder Morris is a complete, like, moody, dark, heavy, heavy piece of music. Where Quietus definitely more has roots in Finnish death metal, Evoken definitely found their own sound over the years, and there's still that skepticism influence, but here on Quietus, I really hear it a lot, and it's great. Like, it's not a bad thing whatsoever. Because I fucking love skepticism, and you should too. Like, seriously, that's one of those bands, again, that just fucking kill it. I love skepticism, and I love evoking. This is awesome, awesome shit. And, uh, yeah, all music by evoking, 1996 to 2000, my bad. Not, it was recorded, uh, 1999 yeah my bad I apologize but like where ghosts fall silent like such a killer song embrace the emptiness awesome tending the dire hatred oh man I, I just I, I can't give this enough you know just praise it's so fucking good and uh, this was when the lineup was Vince Verkay on drums, Nick Orlando on guitars, Steve Moran on bass, Dario Dernina on keyboards, Joss Pardicio on guitars, vocals, and chants. And that's fucking sick. It's so goddamn good. I forgot there's a cello on here even. Like, it's so goddamn awesome. Wow. Yeah. I can't recommend this enough for all you fucking death doom fiends, all you funeral doom fans. Like, seriously. Cannot recommend this record enough. This is A plus material. 10 out of 10. Evoke and Quietus on Peaceful Records. And this right here is on Advent Guard Music. But um, this, I think, is an original. I am not 100% sure. But uh, let's take a quick look at this. Some different artwork and a photo of the band. That's pretty cool. I went over this before in a review. That's why this is kind of a little collection update. But I also wanted to kind of give my two cents on how I feel about it now. And same artwork and stuff just an awesome album by an awesome band if you're a fan of skepticism do not miss out on Evoking because they fucking rule and I'm sure their next record will sell out and they're definitely working on one that's all I know and I know that slow doom and good doom takes fucking time and Let's give Evoken all the time that they need. I know it's been a while, but just let them be, and it will be done.
But thank you, Pat Hopkins, for evoking quietus. Awesome gift right here, seriously. Brand fucking new, stoked. And yeah, heavy as fuck on vinyl. Love the way it sounds. Love the way it looks, and yeah. This is one of those albums where that bonus track right there, that instrumental 2004 track, oh yeah, that's absolutely totally worth the price of this alone. Fuck yeah, get into it. Evoking Quietus. A plus, 10 out of 10. Fuck yeah. Same thing with this. Spectral Voice, Necrotic Doom. Eroded Corridors of Unbeing is fucking sick, but Necrotic Doom, you, you can't go wrong here. Like, it's just so fucking sick. Paul and Eli killing it on this, but yeah, Spectra Voice Rule. Check out their new full length, Eroded Corridors of Unbeing, also on Dark Descent Records. You will not be disappointed. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hails Pat Hopkins. And yeah, thanks for watching again. Have a good day. Happy Friday. <laughs>